Remember the buzz around Stable Diffusion 3? The hype was real, but the release? Well, let's just say it left many feeling underwhelmed. While Stability AI was making noise, another company was working in silence, perfecting something truly extraordinary. Enter Black Forest Labs. And boy, did they deliver. Their text-to-image AI is nothing short of amazing, and it's about to shake up the entire industry. Black Forest Labs is a newly launched company focused on developing advanced generative AI models for media such as images and videos. The team consists of distinguished AI researchers and engineers with a track record in creating foundational generative AI models. Notably, they were involved in developing technologies like VQ-GAN, Latent Diffusion, and the Stable Diffusion models. Black Forest Labs is an independent entity, having secured $31 million in series seed funding led by Andreessen Horowitz. Flux One isn't just another text-to-image AI, it's a suite of models that's redefining the state of the art. With unparalleled image detail, spot-on prompt adherence, and an incredible range of styles, Flux One is set to become the new gold standard in AI-generated imagery. But here's the kicker. They're not keeping this technology locked away. Black Forest Labs is offering different versions of Flux, one for everyone from casual users to professional developers and enterprises, democratizing access to this powerful tool. In this tutorial, I'll guide you through the process of correctly running Flux One on Comfy UI. Before we begin, please note that Flux requires an NVIDIA graphics card with a minimum of 12 gigabytes of VRAM. However, keep in mind that with this minimum requirement, image generation will be quite slow. For this demonstration, I'm using an RTX 3090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Additionally, you'll need at least 32 gigabytes of computer RAM. Let's get started with the setup. First, you need to update Comfy UI. You can do this easily in the Manager menu. From there, select Update All, and then restart Comfy UI once the update is complete. After updating, we need to download Flux's weights. Go to the link number one in the video description and download the clip model. Place this file in your Comfy UI folder, inside the Models folder, and then inside the Clip folder. For the second file, if you have a low VRAM GPU, download the FP8 version. If you have a high VRAM GPU, you can use the FP16 version. This file also goes into the Clip folder. After downloading the clip model, we need to get a few more files. From the second hugging face link, download the file named ae.slt and place it in the VA folder inside the models folder. The last file is the largest one, about 23 gigabytes. This needs to go into the UNET folder inside the Models folder. We're using the Schnell version here, but if you want to try the developer version, which is non-commercial, you'll find the link in the description below. Once all our files are downloaded, we need to get the workflow. You can find the Flux Simple Workflow Schnell by the author Reverend Elus Sarka at the link provided. Now, let's open our workflow in Comfy UI. Make sure you've restarted Comfy UI and refreshed your web browser first. In the Load Diffusion model, select Flux1 Schnell. For the dual clip, use T5XXLFP8 and our clip L. For the positive prompt, I'm using ChatGPT to generate them. Since Flux has amazing prompt adherence, we can simply use a descriptive prompt style. In this example, I've specified that I want a photo of a woman standing behind a wooden door in a tropical garden. She's wearing a sleeveless orange top and olive green high-waisted pants. For the pose, she has one hand on her hips and the other on her thigh. Remember these details, as we'll check if Flux captures them all. In the empty latent section, it seems to work with the same SDXL dimensions. 
I'm not entirely sure but sizes like 832 by 1216 work great. For now, I'm going to leave the Euler sampler and set it to four steps because we're just doing a quick test of this text-to-image AI. Let's generate an image now and see the result. Wow, that's really amazing. The overall image looks fantastic. I really love the colors and the lighting. Flux accurately captured the background as we described. A wooden door with exotic greenery. The clothes are also correct, showing a v-neck sleeveless orange top and olive green wide leg pants. The positioning of the hands is spot on too, with one on the hips and the other on her thigh. This is truly impressive, and the prompt adherence is top notch. Let's generate other variations to see more examples. As you can see, I'm not cherry picking images here. All four images came out looking great. This consistency is a testament to Flux's capabilities. Now let's try another prompt, this time with a realistic image of two women. Using an RTX 3090 to generate four images takes only 30 seconds, which is remarkably fast and efficient. As you can observe, Flux handles the close-up realistic image beautifully. While there's still some room for improvement in skin texture rendering, overall this model is producing the kind of images we've always dreamed of. The quality and consistency of these results show just how far AI image generation has come. Flux is demonstrating impressive abilities in understanding and executing complex prompts, maintaining realism, and producing high-quality images across multiple generations. Now let's test the model on different photo styles. We'll try a cinematic shot of a man looking at a woman, with him wearing a tuxedo and her in a maroon dress, standing behind a theater. The results are impressive. We can see that the couple is looking at each other, the lighting is great, and most images don't have issues with hands. Only this one here shows a slight imperfection. Next, I want to test how well Flux can handle text and images. Let's ask for a commercial photo of a coconut milk product. I want the text, coconut milk on the product, the word new, and natural products on the side, along with a few coconut fruits. Looking at the results, about 90% of the text is correct. For people who create these kinds of product images, Flux could be a valuable tool in their creative process. Now let's see how Flux deals with more complex prompts. Here's a detailed one. A photo of a European woman sitting on a gray couch with red pillows. She is wearing a gray tank top, white shorts, and white socks. She has long blonde hair and is smiling at the camera. In her hand, she is holding a black video game controller and waving with her left hand. She has a pair of headphones on her head. On the left side of the couch, there's a red bag of chips. The background is an apartment living room. Let's generate this image and analyze the results. It's remarkable how Flux manages to incorporate so many specific details from such a complex prompt. The model demonstrates its ability to handle multiple elements, from clothing and accessories to furniture and room layout. This showcases Flux's potential for creating highly customized and detailed images based on precise descriptions. You might still occasionally get some images with an extra hand or limb, but you can fix that in the positive prompt or by generating a variation of four images. If you don't have a high-end GPU or a laptop that can't run Flux locally, you have the option to use their API. It's quite affordable, which makes it accessible even if you don't have the hardware to run it yourself. To summarize, Flux demonstrates impressive capabilities in terms of prompt adherence, handling complex scenes, and producing high-quality, detailed images. And that's all for today. But before you go, 
I've got a quick update about my ultimate guide to AI digital model course for beginners on Comfy UI. This course drops this month, and you can get a sweet 40% discount by clicking the link in the description below. I'll personally reach out to each and every one of you who subscribes and hook you up with a special coupon to use at checkout. Don't miss this limited chance.